Camp officially starts tonight for the Carolina Panthers. 90 players are hitting the practice field for the first time this year. It's not often we get a personal look at what these players are like off the field. NBC Charlotte Sports Director Nick Carboni joins us live from training camp at Wofford, and he caught up with one Panther who has some summertime hobbies similar to some of our viewers. What's this about, Nick? All right, Sarah, so yeah, tonight you'll see all these players out here and they'll be underneath their helmets, behind their face masks, and really they're gonna be like that for the next six months when we watch them on TV. But underneath all of that, they're all quite relatable, including one Panther who I caught up with this week, who if you swim at a popular uptown pool, you may be swimming in his lane. On this day, James Bradbury, a well-conditioned athlete, is getting a little tired. It was hard for sure, but uh, it's a good workout every time. And it's understandable. Normally, when the Panthers defensive back arrives at the Mecklenburg Aquatic Center, the lanes are the width of the pool. Today, they run the full length. It's a relaxing practice, one he's done since his days at the Boys and Girls Club outside Birmingham, Alabama. Easy on the joints and easy on the mind. And I get to think, you know, by myself, and it's me versus the water. And it's the calm before the storm of covering the top receivers in the NFL, including Julio Jones, not once, but twice a year. Uh, it's hectic, very stressful, but I mean, that's, that's what we get paid to do. And Bradbury stands to get paid a lot more to do it after this season. His contract expires at the end of the year. So you're going to play out this year without an extension, or are you seeking an extension? I mean, that's my mindset right okay. now. So I want to I wanna come into the season hoping that I'm going to get an extension, and it doesn't happen, then I'll be let down. So my mindset is just... Play out the season and they hit free agency. <laughs> Nothing but good time. Bradbury is also a skillful cook, and on this day, he carves us up some Wagyu beef. How do you think you'll do cutting this thing? I don't think it'll be straight. It's not too hard to cut. Cutting's the easy part. Cooking is the hardest part. But while he's admittedly a freelancer in the kitchen, James sticks to the script on the field where he's covered elite receivers well, but has only racked up five interceptions in three seasons. Where do interceptions rank on the priority list of what you're trying to do on the football field, play after uh, play? Right now it's number one because I have a lack of interceptions. So right now my number one priority is to get more interceptions going into next year. And if that happens, Bradbury could make a big splash in 2019. So James tells me he has two goals for the upcoming season. One, get five interceptions this year, and two, spend every Tuesday, that's the player's only day off during a football week at the Mecklenburg Aquatic Center, practicing swimming those laps. We'll have much more from Panthers practice. Starts at 6.30, we'll have much more just coming up in just a few minutes. Live in Spartanburg, Nick Carboni for NBC Charlotte. Now I feel like the Aquatic Center is gonna get extra busy on Tuesdays. <laughs> Nick, thank you.